being on a plane for quite a length of time without movement can be really, you can just get stiffened up a lot. So um, getting that gym movement in is just really important. That, like it was literally a midnight gym, that's what it felt like. Your eyes were closing, you just wanted to go home and sleep. But uh, now it's good to kind of get it out of the way first, bit of exercise since the flight, so it's good. We generally have a bit of crack, but we know we have to get our work done as well. So as long as we're getting that done, then there's no issue with having a bit of a mess around. <laughs> Bit of a dance. Uh, yeah, pretty tired, I have to say. A few yawns, which I would. No, yeah, it was a good enough session. Got some work done anyway. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's nice to kind of just have that time. I guess around tournament day, everyone's just so focused, and you're kind of you definitely stick with your own team and stuff. But um, outside of that, it's only really meal times in the hotel that you get to see people, and that's really brief as well. So it's really. It's kind of, it's really nice to just meet and chat with some of the girls and you you get to know some of them well because you have that photo each time so For me it's probably the heat, um, thankfully Japan wasn't particularly hot um, in comparison to other countries we've been to so like we still have to be quite conscious of staying hydrated and um, keep it on top of that but thankfully it wasn't as hot as other countries so it was a lot easier to adapt to I think. We obviously had a, a different coach for Japan so I think it was quite important to receive the jerseys from Stan um, and show for us what it meant to actually be working under him as well. I think he's worked a lot behind the scenes for the past number of years and probably brought a lot of us into the programme so for me it was great to see him being able to actually be head coach and present our jerseys to us. Other than that I think it's just really important to actually know that that jersey is yours for that weekend and just getting into the headspace of what you can contribute to make that jersey better. It was a really nice night and it was really special for me because I got presented my under 18 jersey by Stan as well so it was really nice to have the same, same coach again and um, it was really really cool, I loved it, yeah it was really nice. Yeah, we'll recognise from this to the top post from the outside, let the ball do the work. Depth and space and girls, yeah? Across one sideline is just the waterfront and then up behind that is loads of mountains and stuff so it's kind of a mixture of everything and then the pitch itself it's like it's been combed and it's like the rulers have been got out for the grass it's like literally perfect so it's yeah it's a really cool setting. Quickly they move to the right edge of the Spanish defence. Nice beautiful angled run to open up the defence. Look, I think, to be honest, yeah, I made a break, but it was probably a bad tackle. Um, but I knew I had support coming. Um, I knew I had backs around one side and Louise on the other side. So for me, it was just more about fixing that last defender and giving the ball, to be honest. I was never making the line on my own. <laughs> Full of energy, Australia finished well. Already up by 24 points to no now. I think we should know by now that in sevens anything can happen. Um, so yeah, it was a bit down, but we also know that we had to pick ourselves back up again because in sevens you have a lot more games. Um, you don't have enough time to be down about it. So yeah, be down for a little while, but also use that disappointment to move on and use it for the next game. The quarterfinals where you want to play regardless and then once you've secured that that's it's it's always said that nothing's won on day one but if you don't get into quarterfinals then something is technically lost i think we we were all quite disappointed in how we performed the day before so i think thankfully that 
that translated into the next morning and everyone just seemed to kind of clue in, know what their role was and get on with it. You're playing a sport because you enjoy it. You want the results and you want to win, but primarily you have to enjoy it. So I think we just kind of dusted ourselves off and said here, we, we probably let ourselves down a bit in how we played. So we just wanted to write that. A bit of ball play from Stacey. Flood on the edge has created an early opportunity that kick that didn't go 10 metres was an easy position. Yeah, well, to be fair, Stacey made the break halfway up the field um, off a kickoff and we just got the ball wide um, and I could see that the outside defender had shot up um, so I just tried to take the gap. My Again, my thing was to give the ball to Lou <laughs> so she could finish it, but uh, she didn't catch me for once, <laughs> so I just kept running. Ireland, take it quickly. Nice running, Mulhall, oh, they're going to get it down the left side. Did you get close to the post? Left foot step and inside ball, what a great pass. Terrific play from... I don't know, I just try not to do anything different to what you've done before. It's If you think about it, your heart would just go 90, so I think uh, it was just to go through the exact same system that I always do, the exact same bounce the ball twice and then like just take your time and I kind of have that same routine for each kick that I take so that no matter what scenario it's in, no matter how much pressure is on that one kick, it shouldn't technically matter then. Just need to get his conversion. Need this to force extra time and they're going to another try that we've seen up. It happened to be an exact move that we'd been training the week before and it just worked perfectly I guess and oh I I'll never forget that feeling running over the line. Like, I it's couldn't believe it. <laughs> I actually couldn't believe it. They come back down a narrow blind for Galvin. Takes the defender left and then a beautiful ball on the wraparound. Kathy Baker was Kenji's on debut in this tournament for the Irish team. Just 19 years old, the first time in the history they've ever beaten Canada. It's a 19 year old kid from Black Rock. Kathy Baker on debut that got it done for her team. As moments go that we've shared as a squad, it was one of the most special ones, I think, because we had we had probably felt that we had underperformed and not done so well the first day, and then just against that side and in extra time, and then for it to be Kathy because she's has been incredible since she's came into the program and really worked hard and she's got just a really good attitude and I think for all of us we wanted her first cap to be really special for her and she's she really stepped up to the plate on day one as well as day two but that was just it kind of just said to us look what you look what we can do together as a group if we really just believe and that was yeah it was a really nice moment but again we were kind of trying to focus on our own um, performance and that was a game that went up and down again and again we seen ourselves behind and we had kind of dismounted time to try to get back, back into the game but then the fact that we could uh, kind of come together as a team and get a draw out of it and go to extra time was really important and I think it shows a lot of character for us to do that two games in a row. Um, I think in normal time we had opportunities where we could have impose ourselves more in the game and we had opportunities where we just let them uh, score tries far too easily so I think if we had our time over again we definitely do that first 14 minutes very differently and I think performance wise it wasn't one of the best performances we've, we've had but to be able to actually grit out um, extra time was I think that was really impressive by us and I was pleased going in knowing that we had an, another shot but then unfortunately that extra time was just so quick and it, it was all over in kind of a blink of an eye. Of the first play has been awarded to the USA what a finish and a deserved win for the USA. If we had won that game or if we were able to finish that out, you could walk away and say at least day two we really did what we could and we did what we were there to do, but it kind of left it as a whole that we have something definitely to improve on and to uh, work towards for Canada. Thank you.